Welcome, welcome. Today we're going to play electric field hockey. Now, for any of you who have played field hockey or regular hockey or soccer or any number of sports where you're trying to get an object into a goal, this is no different. Except you're not using a stick or your foot or whatever. You're using particles and electric fields. I'm going to give you a little heads up as to how this all plays together and then I will see what you come up with. First, this bracket right here is the goal. This puck, if you will, is a positive charge and this is the object. You're trying to get this puck into that goal. You cannot click it or push it or anything. The only thing you can do is take these particles, you have both positive, the red, and negative, the blue, that you can set on the field to move this puck. Notice when I got that positive close, we had a little arrow drawn. What might help here is if we come down to the bottom in this section right here that says field, let's click that. We got a whole bunch of arrows drawn. In a little bit I'm going to ask you, in the PDF I'm going to ask you what you think those mean, but first, uh, once we have that set we can hit start, and when we hit start that object will move. Obviously we didn't score a goal, so we need to adjust something. We can reset, move things around, we can add more, we can add any number of these that we want, and we notice some kooky things happening. But your goal is to take that puck and put it into that goal. I want to start off with some practice in which I'll just ask you to make some observations as you're playing with it. Uh, then I would like you to crank it up a notch. That is, in difficulty one, we have a wall that gets added. I want to see if what you can do to score a goal with that wall in the way. And I will ask you to sketch out your pictures. Make sure you're including the positive or the negative charge in your diagram. I will then ask you to go to step two, where we have two separate barriers, and then really make it difficult with three. Step three has three different barriers, and now they have little T's on top of them, too. So, that is the challenge at hand. Uh, make sure you are observing everything that's occurring and uh, doing as best, as most accurate sketches as you can. Good luck.